Hi guys, so this is me, Parth, uh, the owner and founder of Team Fitwood with Parth and uh, as you know that we run our 30 days to transform fitness program and we are soon going to enter the third year of this program so it's going really great and uh, we started our YouTube channel two months back. Uh, the first series was regarding the podcast where we had a couple of guests we chatted with them regarding fitness and nutrition and everything. It was a super one out there. This time we are planning to do something new and it's going to be a fitness vlog. It's not just going to be regarding weight training, it's going to be much more when I'll be answering your doubts, clearing some misconception or myths regarding nutrition, your post-workout, pre-workout meals. If anyone of you has a metabolic disorder, we can just clear that as well. But for now, today we are going for a chest workout. Uh, I'm done with my basic mobility drills and warm-ups, so let's go straight into the workout and yeah, let's have some fun. So, uh, we've been done with the inclined bench press with the dumbbells right now. Uh, it was pretty good. The last two sets were with 35 and 40 kgs. I think uh, 40 kgs we went, um, I think, 6 reps. So, it was a good one, but um, I feel it's a new gym, new dumbbells. So, it will take some time to adapt. But uh, yeah, I did a good one. Next, we are going to uh, Markwell flat bench press. Uh, let's see how it goes over there. Just to answer one question which people usually ask me regarding what what should be your pre-workout meal? I would say it depends on what your goal is. If you're looking to lose your fat, if you're looking to gain your muscle, or if you're looking to maintain um, your current physique, then it's all different. But I would still say it's all focusing on your complex carbohydrates, which might include your, um, your oats, sweet potato, uh, some protein, uh, again, which would include eggs. If you're good with your cholesterol, then you can have yolks as well. And something on a good fat basis, then you can have half avocado, um, and I think uh, a spoon of peanut butter, which would be good. A tip from my side, and all these things are included in the 30 days to transform program. I'm actually going to keep promoting that program because this is the only access which I have. So, yeah, let's keep it going and want to moving on to the next one. So uh, you might think what this is, so basically uh, many of you must be doing, so basically I drink BCAAs during workout, you can have it pre-workout as well, not a problem. The only thing is it just keeps you hydrated, uh, the muscle recovery is much more faster if, if your workload is heavy apart from the workouts. So I would definitely recommend you to have BCAAs instead of just water during the workout. If you are going super intense or even if you are going uh, a medium intensity workout, it's the best one. No sugars, no flavors, nothing, just plain BCAAs. So right now, uh, the incline press which we were doing, it was specifically more for upper pecs, right? right now we are doing the flat part with bench press. This is specifically more on your middle and your decline, the lower part of your chest rather. So it's a good one. It's a structural compound movement, focusing on your entire body. Your core is going to be super strong with this. So yeah, just try it out and it should be super intense.
this was flat bench press and uh, if you would have seen the the set in detail, you would have seen that my chest pecs are completely rotated backward. So you have to rotate your shoulder blades backward. The reason behind that is, for example, many people complain that they, when, you're, when you're doing any sort of a chest workout, more of your anterior uh, shoulder is getting targeted or your tricep is getting targeted. Of course, these muscles are going to get used when you're pushing any sort of weight. But then if you want to exactly target your pecs, then what you need to do is you just need to rotate your shoulder blades backward, control down, Feel the bar exactly on this line of a chest, the lower part of a chest, and then punch fast. So it exactly feels your apex, okay, and not your anterior shoulder. Okay, so um, I'm just going to clear one misconception regarding weight training. Now basically many people say that um, do the cardios or just do yoga or something and you'll get the best results. I feel weight training is such a thing that everyone should do. Of course keeping the injuries in mind if anyone has any. But then I feel uh, the weight training should be dependent on how your strengths are, what's your positive, what's your negative and accordingly we plan the workouts for you of course in this program which we do. But then the point is um, many people say again that girls shouldn't do weight training or for that matter the younger boys at an age group between 16 and 20 shouldn't do weight training because that spoils their height at a very young age. I feel my height is 5'7", I'm swimming since the age of 4, I'm into weight training since the age of 12 and I don't think it, it hampered my height much. So it's all about the misconceptions that, that the society or I feel the social media has created amongst us and we need to clear that out. Weight training is one of the best exercises that anyone can do just to get stronger, leaner, athletic and maintain that fitness lifestyle going for the rest of the life. We're done with uh, three exercises right now. One was the incline bench press, flat bench press with the bar. One was a decline press with the bar. What we do is actually we do the decline bench press with the barbell on a Smith machine. But since uh, we don't have a Smith machine over here, uh, we have this machine which is one of my favorites actually. Because what happens is when you sit on this and when you actually start the reps, you actually stretch your pecs completely, target your anteriors, target your pecs. More importantly, when you push, it exactly stretches your pecs and it comes on your lower part of the chest, which is the most important thing. Because um, whenever you're going heavy for declines, whenever you're going for um, flats, you're targeting the mid part of the chest, but we don't have that focus on the lower part of the chest. And that's the reason we are doing this one. Many of you may not be having these machines, but then instead of that, we can go with the super, uh, Smith machine. Uh, decline barbell press is the best one. Please try it out.
now what happens is these days uh, it's more like people are comparing themselves with other people in the gym or maybe to the bollywood celebrities out there that i would never get at six packs i would get a lean body in just 30 days 60 days now um, i would say it's a funny thing that our program is also for 30 days but now it's a very big misconception that many people have that we are transforming the entire body or rather the entire lifestyle in just 30 days it's like it's more of we are giving a kick start or i would say a restart to that fitness lifestyle of course getting that fat loss or your muscle gain whatever the goals are the respective goals are but i feel just that one thing is very important that please stop comparing yourself with others because that that demotivates you mentally and that affects your performance that affects your consistency in your food part in your workouts and in your daily routine as well so just focus on yourself focus on how your routine is falling into shape which includes your workload as well and uh, yeah i think it's just a matter of patience and a matter of time once that 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 things start falling into place i think everything's good i think me and my team member is talking right now and i think there's a again a big misconception that i want to clear now what happens is um, many people when they usually inquire for the program it's like um mujhe is program se rather these dino mein mujhe 10 kilo kam karna abhi what happens is every body has its own metabolism rate abhi you can't say ki rather we can't promise you all of a sudden ki 10 kilo kam honge honge to 6 kilo kam honge honge see there are very baby steps you have to take the baby steps if you want to achieve something in these 30 days if you lose 4 kg 5 kg of course you wouldn't have expected that you're going to get those results in the next 30 days so that's what the program is giving you apart from that if you have any sort of metabolic disorder if you have any sort of a deficiency or for example um if you have a physical job where you need to travel up and down or uh, in the car or maybe just travel walking and and any sort of a physical activity i would say this program is going to definitely help you in that ways So that that baby steps you have to just achieve that baby steps if you want to achieve your final goal just don't keep in mind that it's about that weight loss it's just about that weight scale first of all just forget about that weight scale it's not going to give you that results and again that mindset matters the most try to give your best in your every workout session try to be consistent with your food part consume your proteins your fats and good carbs and uh, yeah that's about it just just give your best in everything in every aspect of that fitness lifestyle which you want So yes guys so this was our chest workout again i would say that this is a pretty much an advanced workout and uh, me and my friend just illustrated the workout in front of you uh, it was a nice one in a new gym and uh, all thanks to the the owner of this gym he gave us a chance to work out over here and shoot this vlog for you guys we are shooting this as a new vlog we are starting something new for you guys uh, we are bringing some amazing fresh brewed content for you which would again include some nutritional tips um the workout tips for the basic and intermediate level people and also for the ones who are going to enroll in the 30 days to transform program um and as usual just a common line just do not forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel and just wish good luck for the page and good luck for the youtube profile and hoping for the best and to get maximum views as much as possible take very good care of yourselves and i'm a super great week